Okay, boys, um, this is, uh, if there's any modifications to be made, I think the big one is, uh, is probably the removal of the uh, elevator shaft and then uh, the FDC, uh, uh, fire department connection. Um, obviously, the piping system here uh, is on the, um, well, I mean, I, I can't use east-west, but you can see that in the, in the VR version, we have the standpipe system located here. And um, the real world version, we have it uh, on, the, on this side. We're gonna have to move the elevator shaft. I wanna put the elevator shaft on a separate structure, and it doesn't have to be complicated, probably over in that direction, and make this true to the real. Um, and then uh, the other modifications, I think, are to change the pipes or rather the uh, the railing system the main modification that we have to do is to make them not um uh nothing on the build uh uh circular uh low poly as, as low as we can because we've got to put an awful lot of materials assets and things inside of this uh sim and we can't uh we got to go low poly big time so uh, absolutely uh, boxy, super boxy. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't think that there's much else other than that. Um, obviously the standpipe system connections are here on this wall. They go all the way up to the fifth floor. Um, the lights are on, so I'll go up inside there. Um, again, the railing system on the interior, low poly, make it square. There's our uh, standpipe system. Again, it's, it's on the wall that the elevator is on, but when we remove the elevator, uh, I'd like to replace uh, the standpipe and the FDC on this side of the structure so that we can um, you know, simulate the, the real thing. Um, hmm. I think for the most part, it's, it's a small amount of modifications for that. It's not that big of a deal. Um, all right. I've got some more truck operations later on today, but I'm going to try and upload this stuff that I got today uh, before then. And then uh, after that, uh, you'll, uh, you'll get everything you need.